What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am finally back with another video for the Cryer family. Man, I hope all of you guys, man, is having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day. Most importantly, I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, and blessed weekend, man. Listen, before I get into what we're gonna be talking about in this video right here, man, I wanna say this right here. You know, no matter how you look at life, no matter like, like what happens, man, just know that prayer actually works, man. I won't go into detail, but I'm gonna say something, man. Y'all will be surprised the people that I actually pray for in my life because I believe that you have to pray for everybody, not just for something that you want or not for just one particular person. You have to pray for everybody. And believe it or not, I pray for everybody. I seen something today, man, and I'm not gonna lie, it brought tears to my eyes. It brought tears to my freaking eyes. It was emotional because of me being an older gentleman, knowing my situation and how I grew up and what I seen today, it was like, man, God is good, bro. God is so good. And I hope you guys can forgive me for all the background noise, the people outside doing somebody's yard next door. But speaking of yard, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I did to my yard recently and some stuff that I'm gonna do to my yard. And then I'm gonna take you guys with me somewhere today and show you guys what I'm thinking about bringing to my house. Uh, I don't wanna to say too much just yet. I'm just gonna just show you guys. So anyway, woo, I am hot. So I, a few people have been hitting me up like, Mr. Cryer, knock, knock. Where have you been? Where are you at? Guys, you know, sometimes I do take a break off of YouTube. I may take like a, like three or four days, but this right here was the first time in probably two or three years I actually took a whole entire week off of YouTube. But it's all good because as you guys know, I've been uploading on my other platforms every single day. So nothing's really changed. Nothing's really going on. I just decided that I'm not going to wake up every day and my whole life is going to consist of the internet. I like to go to the park. I like to go to the gym, as you guys see. Yes, y'all see it. Stomach flat, everything. Your boy been back in the gym working out every single day. No breaks, bro. So anyway, guys, so I've been okay. So thank you for the people who reached out to me. And it's like, I wasn't even really going that long, just a week. So, but I still appreciate a few people who did reach out to me on Instagram. I'm kind of sweating because I just got out the shower, guys. But anyway, I'm going to take you outside and show you guys what I am planning to do, and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. So let's go. They done finally stopped all that freaking noise out there, man. Oh God, it is freaking hot, man. This car right here, I'm really kind of tired of it, guys, to be honest. It's nice, but I don't really drive it and this is really not what Darian wants. Anyway, I got this huge space right here in my garage. And I was like, you know, I wanted to do something I haven't been able to do since I lived out here in Texas. And I wanted to actually get something I wasn't able to get since I lived out here in Texas. And so today I'm gonna be taking you guys with me and showing you guys what am I gonna purchase. But first I wanna take you guys outside real quick and just show you real quick um, basically what I'm up to. Okay, I told you guys a while back I was gonna do my own yard work, but I decided, hey, how you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Not bad, thank you. So I decided not to um, do it because it's a pretty big yard and I live here by myself. So I pretty much have to do everything on my own. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to change the color of this mulch it's a black color. You guys might notice the weeds were growing up through here like a couple weeks ago, but I had him to come out here and spray this pesticide on there, or not pesticide, but like a weed killer to kill it. But I'm actually having all of this changed out. I'm going with the red mulch for this area right here. I'm also going with red mulch for this area right here as well. These, these plants right here, a couple weeks ago, well, a month ago, when I finally moved into my home, 
you guys might have seen these plants and they were extremely extremely small as you guys seen since the weather has changed it is like starting to blossom they're getting tall and i'm just afraid that these are going to get too tall i don't want them i don't like them so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to have all of this ripped up all of these trees right here i'm having them all ripped up every last one of them those this is what one two three four five six seven eight I, you know, I didn't even notice the sprinkler right there. So I'm having all this ripped up. I'm having the moats change. I'm having red roses put all the way around. I'm going to have red on this side, all red. And I'm going to have yellow and red on this side. Right here around this tree, I'm going to have a mixture of yellow and red right there. So that's some of the changes that I'm going to be doing coming up here real soon. I'm going to take you guys and show you the backyard again real quick. So I basically was telling you guys I was going to hire somebody. I mean, I was going to like do my own um, yard work about a month ago. I showed you guys I was out oh, buying a weed whacker. Even though I got it, I decided not to go with it. I decided to go ahead and just hire a lawn care service. And actually, the lawn care service is fairly cheap. It's like 40 bucks a week. They come out every Monday and oh, shoot, this grass is soaking wet. They come out, I'm not going to walk, well, but they come out every week on a Monday, and it's like 40 bucks. So I think 40 bucks is a small price to pay, to, to pay so I don't have to come out here and do it. And that doesn't make me lazy. It just means that sometimes your boy is just really busy, and I don't have time to come out here and do all this work, man, by myself, because it is a lot. So I decided to go ahead and hire the lawn care. Last time that you guys seen the grass, it was all lumped up, piled on top of each other because they just laid the grass down because the house was just built. I'm going to take you guys to another side too. So they did a really awesome job. Now the grass is actually starting to turn green, whereas before it was really brown in a bunch of spots. Um, I went, I think in about three weeks, they're going to deliver a kid's play park to my backyard. If you guys remember a while back, I did a video showing you guys I went to this place and i looked at a backyard playground park for kids so that's coming in a couple weeks and i decided to go ahead and have that backyard playground right here i'm going to put the background playground right here the one i'm getting is not really big i think that you guys might have seen the one in the video that i'm actually going to purchase so i think that that's going to be perfect so the backyard playground is going to be right here going this way right here so they got to dig all of this grass up right here. All this is coming up. It's all going to be like literally up. And it's going to be like a sand with like the little swing set, the little inner tube on a little chain and like, you know, nothing fancy, like a little kitty slide. And then right over here on this side, there's going to be a small trampoline. I'm not going to get like no big trampoline. I thought about getting like a little uh, small pool, not like an in ground or nothing like that, but like, you know, a big enough size pool. But we already got like a community pool out here where I live at. So that's just to give you guys some ideas of some of the things that I'm about to be doing and what you guys are gonna be seeing over the next month or so because the weather is now officially broken from all of that crazy, crazy cold weather. Not to mention, we gotta, really? They just turned the damn thing on again. So I'm glad I'm just about finished with this part. So we got an extra hour of daylight now, which means it's staying daylight later versus getting dark at 5, 30, 6 o'clock. So you got a lot more daylight. So I will be outside doing a whole lot more yard work. And I've been slipping late. I don't know how this grill got, oh, it was a bad storm the other night. That wind blew my grill way over here. But yeah, so that's just a little something to show you guys what I'm gonna be up to. Oh man, I can't believe I left these out here. Well, y'all see I have, did a couple little barbecues um but yeah so that's that's pretty much that so yeah once again the playground is going to be right over in this area right here and a trampoline is going to be right over in like this area like it's not going to be like right as you come out the back door but it's going to be like right in the vicinity so if i have like my blinds open this would be my kitchen area right here so if i got my blinds open i can see them out here on a trampoline you know or whatever so yeah, so now I am fin to 
jump in my, where am I at? I'm finna to actually get in my truck and yo. Sorry I had to turn the camera off like I did earlier, but as I was exiting my backyard, I seen a guy walking off my porch. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Like, I wasn't rude, but I was more like shocked a little bit because he was like one of the lawn care people next door uh, cutting their yard and stuff like that. And he was putting a card on my door and I was explaining to him that I already have a lawn, that um, I already have a lawn care service. But I'm gonna say this right here. Like, I've been in my house um, probably one month now. Yes, yes, I've been in my house for one month now. And you guys know since I've been in my house, I've had like, I won't say the this past week, but like the first three weeks I was there, I had people knocking at my door every single day. People I don't even know. One person came into my house, it was a young lady, she said, we want to check your water softener and come inside your house and check your water softener. I'm like, ma'am, I don't know you. And it's like, I don't want to be rude to these people, but it's like, I'm the type of person, if I didn't actually call a company for service, I don't really like, I'm not going to let you in my house. And then like, it was like two days later, the lady, no, I know what I told her. I said, ma'am, I'm just not moving into my house. I haven't even got set up yet, so I'm not interested. So two days later, a guy came into my house and he knocked at the door. He said, uh, a young lady came the other day. I'm uh, one of the co-workers. She said that you wanted me to, wanted somebody to come back out to check your water softener. I'm like, sir, no, I didn't. Then somebody else knocked at my door and said, hi, um, uh, we're here to see if you would be interested in a new home security system, this and that. And I'm like, well, well, no, no. And then somebody else came to my house and said that they wanted to check my meter, that they needed to come in the house to go in the laundry room. I'm like, no, I don't know you. So it's like, since I've been in my house, I've had at least 15 to 16 people actually come to my house, ring my doorbell. And the scary thing was I didn't have a ring door bell before i had no cameras outside where now i got cameras on the garage and everything but before i couldn't even see who rung my doorbell like the doorbell ring i don't even know who on the other side of it one night my doorbell rung it was like eight o'clock at night and it was pitch black dark outside and there was another young lady talking about wanting to test my water softener they want to come in my house now come on you ain't gonna just invite strangers into your house i mean i'm not but um so i just brought that up to say this like when the guy came to my house today and put the card on my door i was letting him know that i've already got my own lawn care service but it's like they're constantly knocking at your door trying to sell you stuff it's like it's almost like they know when it's a new residence in a, in a, in a uh, neighborhood so they just knock 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 and knock sometimes it is annoying but now i'm able to see who's at my door Thank God for ring doorbell cameras. So if somebody walks up to the door, even if they just walk up to the door without ringing the doorbell, it'll record like a clip of them so I can already see before they even ring the doorbell. So that's a good thing. Um, I don't feel like that nobody's gonna do nothing, but it's like sometimes like, I'm, t I'm one of the type of people, man, like if I didn't call you for service, there's no need to come out. So anyway, where I'm at right now is I'm at Dick Sporting Goods, guys. I've been really wanting to like get back on the water and just like, you know um just get back out there on the water and since i've been in houston well i'm no longer in houston but i'm in texas but since i've been in texas i always thought about buying myself a boat but i couldn't buy a boat before because like i lived in an apartment um the, the other house i had the garage was too small but now i got my own house I think it's time for me to start looking around for a fishing boat or i also thought about looking at a jet ski guys yes um like you only live once right you only live once and so i'm right here at dick's you guys see i didn't i wasn't for sure what time that they close today but they don't close until 9 9 p.m uh and this is actually saturday so that's actually good another thing i noticed about sat uh, a houston man like last night was friday and so I wanted a slushy, right? I'm, this is no cap, bro. I wanted a slushy. 
it was like 12 o'clock midnight. I never, ever leave my house at midnight. I mean, ever. You're not going to see me nowhere out at no midnight, bro. I wanted a slushy so bad. So I got in my car, my, my uh, vehicle, and I rode to the first gas station I seen, and I bought a slushy. Now, the gas station I went to, uh, I'm getting dark. There's like a washeria laundry mat right there next to the gas station, and I could not believe how packed it was last night. It's like people out here don't sleep. It's like when I'm at home in the bed, 9, 10 o'clock at night watching movies, like people was out everywhere, man. So, I mean, that's actually a good thing. And it kind of motivated me. So I sat in my truck last night at the gas station, sipping on my slushy, just walking, like watching the people mingling around. There was like a little car show in a little parking lot. A few people pulled up with their little like Corvettes and little Mustangs and stuff like that was mingling. It was actually pretty cool to see that. So I think it's probably really time to start getting out more, man, because I do spend a lot of time at home. I've always been a home body man i've always been a homebody but i'm gonna change that but anyway i'm gonna, I'm gonna go inside dick sporting good man and see if i can you know who knows man might make a purchase today or we'll just see what we can get so we can fill that space up in the garage so let's go guys man i am so disappointed right now i am so disappointed so i'm inside dick sporting goods right so i went online today to see what places in my area that sell boats, kayaks, or jet skis, because I really wanted to look at one. But when I came in the door, I got, you know, like the people spoke, welcome to Dick's. I asked the guy which area was the boats or kayaks in. He said that they moved all the, all the boats and kayaks to the Conroe, Texas area. I think Conroe was like three or four hours from here. And he said, because they weren't selling too good. So I'm like, man, I'm kind of disappointed, but it's all good. So while I'm here, we might as well walk around. Let's just see what they got. I got these basketball rims right here. I've never been much of a basketball player, but oh, you know what though? I know something that I do need. I just thought about it. There are some items that I do need from here actually. So let's see here. I got these Yeti coolers. I, I already got a cooler, not a Yeti. Since I'm actually thinking about getting back out on the water, I know I'm gonna be needing some stuff from here. But I don't know, I might actually, not today because it's late evening time now. I might actually make that trip up to uh, Conroe. Not this week because I got a lot of stuff going on. But it'd be worth me going up there. But look at this though, this is what gets me. They don't sell the boats or the kayaks, but yet you can buy a life vest. Don't make sense to me, man. Oh, well, I guess it does make sense. It's another store here. To, oh, wow. Look. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I cracked myself up. I guess this is close as I'm getting to a boat. Check this out, bro. They got the River Run inner tube. You know what? They look fun, but I would actually be scared. They really look fun, though. I would actually be scared to actually get on that. But this is what the River Run looks like right here. And they for a dog, 29 bucks, that's it? I don't know, man. <laughs> I guess you could sit, wow, maybe you could, I wonder if you can fish off that. I don't think I'll be comfortable. Like, can you put oars on it? You can't even put oars on it? Unless these little handles on the side are with the oars are, no, I think those are, I don't know. Wow, look, they got the little store. Okay, they got the little storage area. I wonder what would happen though, if you cross the water, you in the middle of the lake or something, and you doing your thing, and all of a sudden, you hit something and it put a hole in it. Well, I guess I ain't gotta wonder. It's obvious what would happen. Look at this. They got the attachment for the side float for the cooler. Technology, man. Stuff cheap too, man. I think this is more like for like big pool areas. In this picture, it shows like rocks, like he's on that lake or something in the mountains. Cap, I call it cap when I see it. Oh wow, look at this. This is a bigger one right here. Dang, this thing right here is six. Look, look how many people this thing sit, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I don't know, man. I call it cap. That thing really set all them people on it. 
Oh, yeah, okay. I'm still trying to figure out how do you get back to land? I don't see no oars or nothing. But anyway, that's not really what I'm here for. But, man, they got surfboards. I ain't gonna be doing no surfing on nobody water. First of all, I'm too old to be surfing. And I'm damn sure too young to be dying on somebody's water. Anyway, we're gonna walk around for a bit, man, and see what else they got here. When I come in here, like, I probably come in Dick's probably like once every four years, once every five years. I don't come in here a lot, but, wow. Dick's, a, I don't know, Dick's done stepped this game up, man. Look, they got Air Forces up in here. Hold on. What? Ooh, look at these. They got the white and pink forces. I'm definitely not in the market for any clothes, shopping for clothes. Look at this. I actually got these on my feet right now. Yep. Yep, same ones. They didn't come from here, though. They got some nice little shoes in here. Wow, I wouldn't expect. I didn't know they even sold gym shoes. Well, I know it's a sporting goods, but when I think of this store, Dick's, I think of like fishing supplies, not like clothes. But there is another store, guys. I just cannot think of the name of it. They got the boats. What the heck is the name of it? It's a really basic name. I just can't think of the name of the store offhand. It's very well popular known store. I mean, it's a very known, very, very known store. Oh my God. Is, is it Academy? Wait a minute, that's the name of the store, Academy. That's the store that got the stuff. I'm finna Google how far Academy is from me. That's the store that got the boats and the kayaks. Y'all see that look on my face, right? Y'all see the look on my face, right? Things didn't go too well for me, man. It didn't work out. So, I leave Dick Sporting Goods. I go over to Academy Sports. Find out that that particular location that I went to discontinued the watercraft items over there. So you know what? I said, you know what? The hell with it, I give up. If it's not meant to happen right now, it's not meant to happen. So you know what I decided to do, man? Since I'm already headed home anyway, I decided to come to Kroger's, man, and get me some food. So you know what? Bananas. Get your butt in this cart. Get over here and sit down. I need some food in the way, man. Yo, now they know damn well they should not grow. Seriously, why y'all selling this, man? Why y'all selling this? Ain't nobody finna buy that banana, man. That banana looking crazy. It's rotten looking. So, I made some tacos last week. I'm not for sure what I'm gonna even eat tonight. But I do know whatever I'm gonna eat is gonna consist of green vegetables. So I got some cabbage at home. I don't really need a lot, man. But I'm like, you know what? I'm like 15 minutes from home. So, I might as well go ahead and grab a few items. For instance, like this, romaine salad. I think this is the romaine. Oh, this is the little gym lettuce. Nah, 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 we ain't doing that. I need that romaine. I need that romaine. This is, oh, there it is. This stuff right here is fire and I've been eating a whole lot of it. Get your butt in this cart. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I might do like a chicken breast salad tonight. I'm not gonna like make anything heavy. I am gonna get like a few items for the refrigerator, but looks like it's gonna be a homemade chicken salad tonight. Like cut up, like fry the chicken, rip, like chop it up. Actually, I may actually get the grill, um, get the chicken, um, what do you call them? The uh, chicken breasts and actually fry them and make me like a chicken cob salad. That actually sounds a lot better. So now I gotta eat some chicken breasts. But uh, yeah, so I'm thinking maybe, just maybe this is not the right time for me to actually be looking at a boat. Um, but I'm not saying I was gonna just 
cash out on one like that but i really wanted to look at like my options and like explore options of what i want to do so i'm finally back home guys from doing all that extra running around today so i did stop at kroger's on the way home i decided to go ahead and get me some chicken breast uh the romaine lettuce uh i got the buttermilk ranch salad dressing and some cheese and i'm just gonna make me a chicken breast salad tonight and pretty much just spend this Saturday night relaxing, watching a movie, and who knows, get up in the morning, go to the gym, some of that stuff, you know, something like that. But anyway, this is what I got. I ended up going with the little bag of romaine salad. There's two heads in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take one of them and chop it up really good and make a romaine salad tonight. And then tomorrow, when I come back from the gym, tomorrow morning, I'll chop up the second half and make me another chicken breast salad. So the other night, I actually had I had the same dish just like two nights ago, but instead of me frying, I'm sorry, yes, frying the chicken breast, I actually grilled the chicken breast, chopped them up and put them on my salad. Tonight, I'm actually gonna batter these up, fry them, chop it up, it's like little steaks. And that's what we make, guys. So I'm about to ready end this video off, but the moral of this whole entire video, guys, you know, was just basically to check in to let you guys know everything is Gucci. I will be back uploading daily on this channel. Again, I was gone for a week. There was nothing wrong at all. Everything was superb, guys. I just, sometimes you have to just take time out for yourself. But even though I wasn't uploading on this channel, I still continue to upload on my other platforms. Also, I wanna say thank you guys. We're gonna hit 1.6 million on Facebook either tomorrow or Monday. So thank you for the guys who went over and follow me over there. I do appreciate all of you guys for all y'all continue love and support, man. And before I end this video off, man, I want to say stay prayed up, man. Everything that you do, stay prayed up. Don't be confused because the price of chicken wings done went down. We are in some bad times right now, man. We are in some bad times. But I love you guys, man. Thank you for watching. Till next time, I'm Damian Cryer, and I'm going to see you all the next video. Peace.